Great finds, today I've assembled some historical pieces, some things that you won't see today. They are dated, they are interesting, and they all have their own little story. Now, if you're around during the 40s or the 50s or even before, you'll remember some of these items being pretty common, although now it's not something that you're going to go and find at your local store. It just helps to put some perspective and historical perspective on things, how things used to be. The first item here is a wind-up toy. This is a kid's toy. These came out of Japan. Japan made a lot of these wind-up toys. You can see this little bunny playing the banjo. The banjo is pretty cool. It's pretty well decorated. These are called tin toys. They made a lot of tin toys. He is wind-up. There is his tail, which we'll see in a second. There's a lot of these particular items. They especially have a lot of different animals, and they, they, were, they weren't that expensive then, but they are they are pretty collectible today. We can see if we let him go, we'll play the banjo. There he is playing. I don't know what song it is. He's pretty good. You can see his tail fly in there. See, it says Japan on there. These were, these were pretty common. They were pretty cheap toys at the time, but they have become pretty collectible. They're interesting. You just wind them up and let them play, and there's no on-off switch. It is what you get, but he's still cool looking. He's in pretty good shape for his age. Now, some old advertising, some old advertising that you probably won't see. Um, this is for grape nuts and cream. Um, now, there's two little kids there putting it down in black and white. I don't think that would fly today, but this is this has been made. This is not a reproduction. Someone has taken one of the original designs off this box and um, framed it for historical purposes. Grape nuts and cream. It is a brain and nerve food. I don't know what a nerve food is. It is fully cooked and pre-digested, which sounds disgusting to me. Pre-digested food. Not something I would look at something in the grocery store today and want to buy. But it's a true bodybuilder. This is a little frame piece. It is pretty neat. It's a uh, Something to talk about is a conversation piece, um, but they frame some old advertising and something that you can get there. Now this here, you probably don't know what this is because I didn't know what it is. Now this, this little part is broken off. Um, I think this might be Bakelite. I don't know what this says. Um, I thought it was some sort of brush or something. And I finally figured this out. What this is, is probably pre-filter for cigarettes. So you couldn't, you wouldn't burn your hands there. Um, plus, you would look very sophisticated smoking one of these. Now, FDR had had one that he would not like this one, a little bit longer one. If you see some old historical pictures, it's just an interesting item, something that you probably would have a hard time finding today. But that is probably pre-filter cigarettes, and it's just a little, nice little cool little item. Also, when you go in people's houses back then, they would have lighters on the table. This is a table lighter. You know, it sits on the table. You couldn't possibly put this in your pocket. You could, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I did clean it up. It is silver plate. Some of these are made of silver. This is made by Ronson. These are historically not very reliable. Um, I just changed a flint and put some fluid in it. So, of course... It won't, it won't work. This is more like an um, help quit smoking lighter because it won't light. I put enough fluid in this thing to probably burn down the whole building. And it's got a new flint, but oh well. See, it's just meant to be on a table. It's decorative. You go to someone's house, they'd have this ready for you. They wouldn't even ask you. You were, you were supposed to smoke back in the 50s and 60s apparently. Now, speaking of the 50s, this is Zippy. Zip, the uh, Mr. Bim from the Howdy Doody Show. He was a real live monkey who was on the beloved kid show. He has his banana. There's many, many different um, versions of this particular um, plush toy. Um, there is a Life magazine cover of the real monkey smoking in the dressing room with his shirt on. So yes, even in the 50s, on kid shows, 
the animal spoke. That's how much smoking was part of the culture back then, um, which fortunately today it's not. But that is, I, I don't know what happened to Zip. I don't know if he got CPOD. But anyway, that Zip, he was a beloved character there. And we have, of course, a table lighter that won't light. It's more decorative, I guess, at this point. Um, a nice little pre filter cigarette holder um, an historical piece on some old advertising and things that you probably won't see today and cheap toys cheap toys that you could buy internationally from Japan with very highly decorative banjo playing rabbits thanks for watching please subscribe if I got anything wrong let me know any questions comments are welcome and thanks for watching